What is going on everybody? Welcome to my channel, I'm your host Luca, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my picks for week 14 of the NFL. Let's get to it. Um, a lot of good games are coming up this week. Um, I mean, it's 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 mind-blowing at such good games. We have the Eagles and the Cowboys, which is gonna be fantastic. Um, we have the Bills and the Chiefs, which is gonna be crazy. But anyway, before I get to that, let's start off with our first big game. That is the Detroit Lions versus the Chicago Bears. Um, the Lions are giving up three points against the Bears. The Lions are nine and three. They're still in the hunt and for that number one seed because uh, Philly is ten and two and they're nine and three. So you know there's still an opportunity for them. There's still a pathway for them to get that number one seed. But in this game against the Bears. Definitely give me the Detroit Lions. I have the Lions minus three. I think they're going to cover that three points and also give me the over of 43. I think this game is going to go over and I think that Detroit Lions are going to play good uh, good football against the Chicago Bears and they will win. So definitely give me the Lions minus three. <clears throat> Next game, we have the LA Rams and the Baltimore Ravens. LA Rams is looking pretty hot. Matthew Stafford is back. If you look here in the standing, they're six and six. They just won three in a row. Early on in the season, man, I thought they were dead. I thought they were out of it. But you know what? Don't look now. They're in that playoff hunt. They are in that wild card hunt, and they're definitely be playing um, pretty hard against the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, on the other hand, just lost Mark Andrews, which is a very, very big loss for them. Best tight, one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Definitely, uh, Lamar Jackson is going to miss him. In this game, man, seven and a half. You know what? That's a lot of points. Um, not saying that the Rams are going to win this game, but definitely give me the Rams plus seven and a half. That is too many points. I think the Rams are going to definitely cover that seven and a half. So give me the Rams plus seven and a half in the matchup against the Ravens. Um, and also give me the over. I think 39 and a half points is too low. I think it's going to be a shootout, a semi shootout that is. And I think the Rams are going to cover that seven and a half points. So give me Rams plus seven and a half. Next game, we have the Indianapolis Colts and the Cincinnati Bengals. Colts are looking good, man. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Let me show you something here. Let me look at the... Uh, what are called AFC South, right? Early on in the season, I thought this division was trash. I thought this division was garbage. But look now, we have the Jaguars 8 at 4. We have the Colts at 7 and 7. We have the Texans at 7 and 5. We're not going to talk about the Titans because it's not looking too good. They're 4 and 8. But when the Colts lost their starting quarterback, I thought it was over for them. Again, just like the, just like the Rams in the last, uh, uh, you know, what I just talked about, I thought the Colts were gone. But Gardner Mishy, man. This guy has been playing fantastic. He's been playing good, and the Colts have been playing very well. They still have an opportunity to win that AFC South. That is ridiculous, man. So uh, in this game against the Cincinnati Bengals, I think the Colts are going to win. Give me the Colts plus two and a half. Bengals, uh, Browning, I think it's Browning his name is, or uh, I don't know his name. But anyway, the quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals. Let me see what's his name. Let me see. Bengals quarterback. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 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 it doesn't say, does it? I think it's Browning, man. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying who exactly who replaced Joe Burrow. Jake Browning. Yeah, there you go. Jake Browning. But, um, yeah, uh, he played pretty good against the Jaguars last, uh, actually, I think it was Sunday, uh, Monday night, um, when Trevor Lawrence got hurt. Um, yeah, uh, he played pretty good. He played out of his mind and they won. And now they're six and six. Right, the Bengals are six and six, and they're still in that hunt of that wild card. But you know what? I think the fairy tale stops um, tomorrow or this evening, whenever you see this uh, video. I think the fairy tale stops, and I think the Colts are going to beat the Bengals. So give me Colts plus two and a half, and it's going to be another shootout plus 40, uh, 40, over forty four. Definitely give me the over against uh, in Colts and the Bengals. Give me the over. And I got the Bengals plus two and a half. Next, let's hurry up because, um, you know, I don't want to talk too much. We got the Texans and the Jets. Give me the Texans. Uh, CJ Stroud is going to win um, Rookie of the Year. Um, he's in the NF MVP discussion. I mean, this kid is playing out of his mind. Texans was the biggest surprise this year. Uh, minus three and a half. They're going to cover that easily. I'm not going to mess with the over and under because I don't know how the Jets defense is going to play they might play a very very good game and then it might only take the texans you know maybe 14 or 17 to win so i'm not even going to mess with that 32 and a half so i'm just going to stick with the texans uh minus three and a half and i think they'll cover next we have the carolina panthers and the saints 
Panthers are playing for nothing. They're the worst team in the NFL. Uh, so you know, I don't think I don't I don't I don't think they're playing for anything. The Saints are still playing for something. If we go back uh, right here to the um, NFC South, you'll see, man. You have the Falcons, the Buccaneers, and the Saints all trying to play and win that division, and they're all one game apart. So I think the Saints are going to come out firing. Uh, Saints are going to win. Give me Saints minus six. Yes, I think they'll cover. I think I think they'll beat them uh, very well. And also, you know what? Give me the over. They're going to go over 38 and a half. Give me the Saints minus six and the over. Next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Atlanta Falcons. Again, that NFC South, uh, I would call it a uh, uh, matchup. Buccaneers and the Falcons both are vying for that position. This is going to be a close game, but give me... The Buccaneers. I think Baker Mayfield is going to pull it out, and I think the Buccaneers are going to win this game. And I think this game is also will be a shootout. Definitely give me the over in that game. Next, we have the Jaguars and the Cleveland Browns. Uh, we don't know what's going on with Trevor Lawrence. Um, it says that he's a game time decision. He had that high ankle um, sprain against the the Bengals Monday night, and he looked pretty good. I saw a couple of videos of him of playing against uh, just in practice, and that ankle looks to be. I mean, it looks fine to me, but anyway, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I, I don't know if he's going to play or not. It's just a game time decision. So I'm going to stay away from this game. Uh, I would pick the Jaguars if Trevor's playing, and I think he's leaning to, towards playing. But you know what? I'm not going to mess with that game. I'm just going to leave it um, right now. But uh, yeah, definitely. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if he's playing... I pick them. If he's not playing, I'm picking the Browns. That's how much of a difference he is. So either way, I'll see tomorrow. If the Jaguars, if the uh, Trevor Lawrence is playing, even though he's hurt, I'm still going to pick them. If he's not playing, I'm definitely picking the Browns because I don't know who the backup quarterback is. And it doesn't matter who he is because that Cleveland Browns will definitely shut him down. Next, we have the Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. 13 and a half points. This is the biggest spread we have this weekend. And... I'm torn, man, because the Seahawks have been putting in, or not Seahawks, excuse me, the 49ers have been putting in works and they have been pummeling everybody. They just pummeled the, uh, the Eagles last week, last, last week, and they pummeled the Seahawks. Um, I think it was, uh, Thursday night football, uh, Thanksgiving for the football. They destroyed the Seahawks. But still, man, 13 and a half points, that's a lot. You know, that's a lot in the NFL. So in this game, in this game, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to pick who's going to, you know, if I'm betting, I'm not definitely picking. I'm definitely going for the over. This game is going to go over. This game is going to go over easily. Either, you know, it's a close game and it goes over or the 49ers totally destroy the Seahawks. Blow them out 40 something to maybe 10 or whatever. And so still over 64, uh, 46 and a half, definitely taking the over. Next, we have the Vikings and the LA, I keep saying LA, Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, both teams are still in the playoffs. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, man. Late in December and uh, the playoff picture, for, at least for the wild card, it's packed in the AFC and also in the NFC. And both the Vikings and the Raiders both have a chance to make that playoff. This game, give me the Vikings because I think Jefferson is back. Um, the right receiver, I think he's back and I think he's going to play uh, uh, big uh, this 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 uh, this game. So definitely, definitely give me the Vikings minus three and also give me the over over 40. This game is going to be a shootout. I'm telling you guys, this game is going to be a shootout. Give me the Vikings minus three and also give me the over. Next we have, I think this is the game of the week. It's not the Cowboys and the Eagles. I think the Buffalo Bills versus the Kansas City Chiefs is the game of the week. Um, if we look at the standings, right? Uh, it, this is a must win for both teams. Now when I say must win, for the Chiefs that is, I don't think they have to win to win the division because look here, they're at eight and four. Even if they lose, right? They're still in a good position to win that division. And I think they're in a good position to make the playoffs. But look at the Buffalo Bills. If they lose, they'll be 6-7. and seven. And that's going to be very, very tough for them to make the playoffs. And the reason why I think it's a must win for the Bills, of course, like, like I just said, they can miss the playoffs, right? And this is a huge game for them. But for the Kansas City Chiefs, man, they've been spiraling, right? They've been spiraling this uh, past couple of weeks, past three, four, five weeks. And they need to get back in gear because, you know, for them, it's Super Bowl or bust. So 
they, you know, it's a must win for them. I think it's going to be a huge, huge game. I think this will be an instant classic. And, you know, Tony Romo is going to be calling it. You know, he loves Buffalo and he loves Kansas City. So it's going to be fantastic watching that game. So I'm definitely looking forward to the Buffalo Bills versus Kansas City Chiefs. And my winner is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are going to pull it out. They always do. Mahomes is going to find some magic and he's going to pull it out and they're going to win. And it's going over 49. Another over, guys, because this is going to be a shootout. Both teams are desperate. Desperate. The offense for both teams, I think it's going to show up. And I think it's going to be a fantastic game. Next, my Denver Broncos versus the Chargers. I'm not going to say much about it. I think my Denver Broncos makes a, b- a bounce back. I think we beat the Chargers. Definitely taking the points plus two and a half. Chargers, I don't know what's going on with Ben Staley. I don't know what's going on with Justin Herbert. I mean, he's playing pretty good, but I don't, I don't know what's going on over there in L.A. Um, I think they're going to choke. And I think we're going to take care of it. And I think... Our defense is going to show up and our defense is going to put in work. And I think Russell Wilson is going to just put, you know, put up a couple points and we'll be good. So I have the Denver Broncos plus two and a half. I'm not going to mess with the over and under because I don't know what's going to happen. And then lastly, for Sunday night, we have the Eagles and the Cowboys. I'm going to take my popcorn and I'm going to watch. I'm going to sit back and just going to watch because I have no invested interest in none of this, in, in, in any of these teams. But it's two of the best teams in the NFL, not just in the NFC, two of the best team in the entire NFL. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them make it to the Super Bowl and possibly even win. That's how good the teams are. But this is a huge team, huge game um, for the for both Eagles and also for the Cowboys. Because if we look here at the NFC East, Eagles are at ten and two, Cowboys are at nine at three. If they win, they'll be both ten and three, and that number one position, you know, it's it's up for grabs. And then the loser of this game, you know, not only will they lose out from that number one position, they might possibly lose out from, you know. The, of course, the division and, you know, there'll be a wildcard team, meaning that they will go to the road and play a, a, a team. So this is a huge, huge game for the Eagles, a huge, huge game for the Cowboys. But give me the Cowboys. I have the Cowboys minus three and a half. I think Dak is playing at an MVP level and I think he's going to show up and I think this game is going to be fantastic. So definitely I have the Cowboys minus three and a half and I have this game going over 51 and a half. So let's do a quick recap, guys, before I leave. Um, first game, Detroit Lions versus uh, Chicago Bears, give me Detroit. LA Rams versus the Baltimore Ravens, give me Rams plus the with the points. Colts Bengals, give me the Colts uh, plus the points. Houston Texans versus the Jets, give me the Texans minus three and a half. Uh, Panthers and the Saints, I think the Saints are going to show up and win. Give me the Saints minus six. Uh, Tampa Bay and the Atlanta Falcons. I think Baker is going to show up big. Give me the Baker Mayfield with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beating the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, next, we have the Jaguars and the Cleveland Browns. This is the game I said that I don't know what's going to happen. It depends on if Trevor Lawrence plays or not. If he plays, give me the Jaguars. If he doesn't play, give me the Browns. Seahawks, 49ers. I'm staying away from this game. I think 49ers are going to win outright, but I don't think they're going to cover 13 and a half. So in this one, I say definitely give me the over. Next, we have the Vikings and the Raiders. Give me the uh, the, the Vikings. Uh, I think Jefferson is going to have a huge game. I think uh, Dobbs is going to bounce back because he had a horrible week last week. And then, the, you know, I think game of the week is Buffalo Bills and the Key, Kansas City Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs. This game will be instant classic, guys. I'm telling you, this game is going to be fantastic. And then the Broncos and the Chargers. Give me my Broncos. We're going to shut down uh, the Chargers. And I think uh, Russell Wilson is going to put up enough points for us to win. And then lastly, we have the Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Give me the Dallas Cowboy. And that, guys, is my pick for week 14. Anyway, guys, if you are new, like I said, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let's go.